it's important with people that are dealing with, you know, a lot of death or grief to not get lost in to a sense of believing like it's me, you know, mm -hmm. like, because I, I found myself like isolating a lot more in that sense because like it made me feel like defective you know? <laughs> oh, no. yeah. yeah. And so, um, I mean, when I got into acting, mm -hmm. I really felt like that I, I was genuinely interested in one, finding that resilience in myself mm -hmm. and two, connect, learning how to reconnect with people. Like it was so difficult for me to feel like I knew the right thing to say or how to, not be oversharing sometimes mm -hmm. of my own self, mm -hmm. you know, like I find myself where, doing that too. Yeah. And I go, man, why did I do I get yeah. so comfortable with it? Yeah. That, but you don't know how other people are going to react. Exactly. And like you said, mm -hmm. I feel more comfortable sharing my personal tragedies with veterans yeah. than other people. They may not understand mm -hmm. or they have nothing to relate to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't want to put that pressure or that discomfort to every single person. To, that you exactly. Run into. You yeah. know, so just learning how, or even why people do what they do. I mean, in acting, it's so much psychology around it. It's, I mean, acting is living a human experience. You know, you're bringing this experience to life and you are accepting that and accepting to live that for that moment. And that's what it means to me to everyone. It's not the same, of but course. that's what it means to me mm -hmm. is that I'm going to give m this time of my life to let myself experience this. And, and if I can't do that, like, I feel like I'm going to fail the director because mm -hmm. I strive for that authenticity in my acting and you have to, you know, always find a, a way to kind of navigate what is comfortable for you and what, um, why, why you're going to, why you're going to do it. 